I, I compare the show to Godfather a lot because I see a lot of parallels. But Marvin is like Fredo, you know what I'm saying? Likeable dude, likeable character, but he is dumb. He's he's almost useless, man. Power Book 3, Raising Canaan, Episode 2, this time directed by the legendary Mario Van Peebles. And this makes me, you know, I, I miss Mario doing movies. I don't know why he kind of disappeared from the limelight because he had a stretch where he did, he did some good movies, man. New Jack City, Posse, you know what I'm saying, Panther, and he kind of, you know, but I think maybe he was too black for Hollywood. I don't know, but thank God he's still getting work because this was a dope-ass episode. But I got a question, y'all. I need y'all help, okay? This, to those that seen this, I, I need y'all help. Now, if you're looking for an in-depth review where, you know, you, you, I can break it down to the nitty-gritty down to his last atom, you're in the wrong place, okay? I'm not an expert on any goddamn thing. I'm a viewer just like you. I just get in front of the camera and speak my thoughts and shoot from the hip, you know what I mean? So, I'm no expert, so I need y'all help, y'all. I need y'all help to those watching this video. Why the hell did Rock have Lulu kill uh, D, um, D Wiz? Why? Now, I'm thinking to myself, I said, okay, maybe because she wants to take the heat off of Kanan and used uh, D-Wiz as a sacrificial lamb, okay? And I know she did ask Kanan about the guns. She was like, you know, D-Wiz got you them guns, right? And his brother just got out of prison, and them guns are stashed in the house, and the brother's buck-ass wild. So maybe she did that so the guns couldn't get traced back to Kanan. I, I, I don't know, y'all. I Help me out. Because I was like, no, why they kill D-Wiz? I like D-Wiz. You know, I was I was thinking that we were going to have Kanan, D-Wiz, and Famous have their own little crew. And my man gets killed in the second episode, man. I'm like, why they kill this boy? And you can tell Lulu didn't want to do it. Like, even when she first, when she was speaking in code, and she was like, yeah, um, you know, time for Reggie Jackson. You know, then Marvin, the, the dumb brother, he's like, what's Reggie Jackson got to do with me? I'm going to get to him in a second. But yeah, you could tell Lulu didn't want to do it, man. And I'm like, why? Why did they kill him? So help me out, y'all. Uh, comment below, what was the reason why Rock had D-Wiz killed? Okay, he was supposed to come over and watch New Jack City with Kanan. Now, that was a good touch, by the way, by Mario. That was his classic, his masterpiece, New Jack City. They were supposed to watch New Jack City together. And while Jukebox was singing a rendition of um, Whitney Houston, You Give Good Love. That was a dope little montage. Yeah. He, he has the night of his life, you know, gets his last fuck on, gets his last drink on, and then he's gone. Damn. R.I.P. I wish I had some liquor. R.I.P. to D-Wiz, man. He, he out. He out. Canyon right now is pretty much in Dope Boy Boot Camp, all right? He's got to start out, start from the bottom. He has to sit in this raggedy-ass house with this other dope boy playing video games, and he doesn't understand why his mama's doing what she's doing. She's taking a Mr. Miyagi approach to teaching him the drug game. Because remember, Mr. Miyagi taught Daniel Karate without Daniel knowing that he was knowing, uh, learning karate. I love Rock as a character. She is badass. She's a boss. Even when it comes down to fucking. Now, this can't, this can't be powered without some fucking, okay? So, uh, this dude that she's with, what, uh, that he's, uh, she's with, what's his name? Um, uh, Sym Symphony or some shit like that. So, yeah, they're about to get it on. And he's like, you know, let's wait a while. And she took them clothes off and said, motherfucker, fuck all that. You know, we getting down. Boss. All across the board. All the way around. Everything about her screams boss. I love her character, man. Rock is a badass, man. Now, I got to talk about the brother, Marvin. Marvin is a likable character. He's funny. But he's useless. He's almost like Fredo in The Godfather. I, I compare the show to Godfather a lot because I see a lot of parallels but Marvin is like Fredo, you know what I'm saying? Likeable dude, likeable character, but he is dumb. He's he's almost useless, man. I guess he comes in handy. Maybe he's kind of the muscle, uh, like the enforcer almost, but that looks like Lulu's job. You know what I'm saying? Lulu and Rock are like, they're on the same page. They're on the same wavelength. And Marvin's kind of like on the outside looking in, but I guess when she needs a certain job done, she gives it to Marvin. But, you know, he's really not in the loop of what's going on as far as the operation goes. So... I don't see him lasting that long, even though I like him, but I just don't see Marvin lasting that long. He He's a useless character almost, and especially getting into a fight outside the club over the, the, the white chick that runs it, you know, the one that got her dog microwaved. I'm like, Marvin, what? what? It You know, he doesn't seem like the type that would be in Raquel's operation. Raquel is, is serious, and she's about a business, okay? And Marvin is like, he's comic relief, you know what I mean? So, yeah, man, I, I don't see Marvin lasting long. Now the whole thing with Omar Epps and um and uh and Neek, right? Well, Unique, Neek, whatever the fuck you say his name. 
Um, so he is betting on Unique being the top dog, the head guy. He was like, you know, no more bodies, and I'll make sure you get that crown. So for some reason, he wants uh, Unique to have the crown over Raquel. So I don't know what beef him and Rock had. Maybe they'll, they'll get more into that, why he don't really fuck with her. But he's, I guess, somewhat teaming up with your boy, like, hey, you know, wink, wink. You know, do this, and I'll make sure you, you get that top spot. And Unique, you know, I he, he kind of has a poker face. You don't know what he's thinking if, okay, I'm with this or nah, man. Fuck you, nigga. You know what I'm saying? Like, because there, there, there's a street code. At least back then it was a street code, you know, um, especially dealing with the police. So, yeah, this is a dope episode. That This is showing, once again, the origins of Kanan and how he had to start from the bottom. And Raquel taking the Mr. Miyagi approach to teaching him the drug game, you know, with, with him learning it without knowing that he's learning it. And, um, yeah, man, yeah, I, once again, R.I.P. to, uh, to D-Wiz, man, I thought he was gonna last longer, he gets killed in the second episode, and I wonder what Kanan's gonna say when he finds out what his mom did, you know, cause that, that, that was his friend, that was his homie, but I'm pretty sure Raquel's gonna do some G shit, like, nigga, this is the game, you know, you're gonna lose friends, you're gonna lose family, you know what I'm saying, that this is the game, you know, take it or leave it, so... There it is. Episode 2 in the books. Another dope one. Looking forward to episode 3. But yeah, comment freely below. If I missed anything or if I'm wrong about something, listen, I don't mind being called out, okay? I, I critique this shit, but at the same time, I'm no expert. I'm no fucking... I just... I watch it just like y'all. You know what I'm saying? So if I'm wrong about anything, correct me. Let me know, damn it, because I love this show and I want to make sure I get it right. And that's it and that's all. So yeah, comment freely below if you like and dig the content. Hit that like and subscribe notification bell in the corner. This is Rashad G signing out. See you in the next video.